Hi, in this tutorial I will discuss about the model. In Laravel, each of the database tables has a corresponding model that allows us to interact with the table. Model gives you the way to retrieve, insert and update information into your data table. Okay, This is my VS Code editor and uh, I have installed a fresh Laravel here. My development server is running. This is the PHP my admin. I am going to create a database here. I am going to name it uh, Laravel Fundamental. Create this database. Now I will create a model for this database. How we will create model? Suppose the table name is students. This is the database name Laravel Fundamental and I will use a table student table. So I will give the name of the table students. Okay. I am going into my .env file first and I am going to set up my database name here that is Laravel Fundamental. Okay. Now in order to create a model, I am going first to app models. You see that by default in a fresh Laravel there is a user model. If you go to user model, you will see that there are some codes written. If we create a table that's name is students, then we will have to create a model student. That means your table name will be in plural form and your model name will be singular form. This is the standard and if you maintain the standard, you can easily use the eloquent ORM of Laravel letter. I am going to create a model here. I am going to terminal, new terminal. I am going to write a code PHP artisan make model. Then I am going to give a name that is student name. Be sure that the student name of this model starts with a capital letter okay yes then enter you will see that into models folder automatically a file has been added that is student.php if you go there you will see some codes here and this is the model code this is the student class that is actually model class when you will use eloquent my eloquent system will automatically read this student model if we add this into our controller we will see that in practical okay i am going to my routes there is a web route i am going to modify some codes here suppose i am going to declare a get request here route get and here I am going to define a student a student add suppose I will add a student here a student controller class here add function okay now in order to run this operation what I will do, I will need to add a class that is a student controller class. Go to terminal and create, create a controller php artisan make controller then student controller enter. The student controller is created into http controller folder. Okay, this is a student controller. And as we have used a student controller here, we will have to use this in the top. Use app HTTP controllers. Sorry, here it will be this symbol controllers and then a student controller. Then this controller will work. Into the student controller, I will define a function that is add function. 
I am going to write public function add. Here I will write the code to add a student into the student table of Laravel fundamental database. We know that I have created a database here, but I did not add any table yet. So I am going to create my migration now. New terminal PHP artisan make migration then create a migration here create a students table enter we see that in our database there is a migration folder and here a student migration comes now i will give some field here suppose a string a student name a student name and a student email okay name and email now what I will do, I will run the migrate command now from terminal php artisan migrate. So the migration tables will now come here and we have a students table. Now I will add data into the student table using the model system. Okay. This is our student controller and I will write here some codes. In order to use model here, what I will have to do is, I will have to add model to the top. Use, then app http, uh, sorry, app models, then student model okay because our models are in this location app models student model so i am going to add it to the top if you add this model to the top you can create object of that model easily new student this way you can call this model okay so i am calling my model this way this is the model code we do not initially need to add anything here but you can write a lot of things here you can uh, change this codes okay i am going to take it into a variable a student in this variable and then i will set up some value here suppose the student the field name i will write here you know that field name is student underscore name so a student and field name is student underscore name equal to I am going to manually add some information so I am giving my name here then I am going to copy this line paste here and second field is student email then I am going to give the email address here this way at last student and then save this function if you write code this way this data will be automatically added into your database and in this case this will work because i am going to use the model system now if i go to my route and here i hit what is my route i am going to web.php you see that my route is a student add i am going to copy this and here i am going to paste this enter you see blank page because I did not show anything in in this view. Now refresh the students table. You see that this data has been inserted into that database. You see that there are two fields created and an updated. Data. Also those data are inserted. Because by default when we added this model student model by default the fields is to, uh, id created and an updated that these are automatically comes here okay but if you want you can just skip those values suppose our table does not have created and an updated at attributes it is possible because 
sometimes for example uh, already there is an application made with raw php then you are going to convert that application into laravel then for example the uh, previous developer develop the table in such way that there is no created at and updated at fields so what will you do in that case and actually if you do not need those fields you can remove this okay remove this and when you created migration then you will have also to remove this table timestamps if you remove this then when you run the php artisan migrate those fields will not come here okay so that is one case and another one is if this thing happens that there is no created and and updated at columns if you goes to run this student add now you see that this is asking because updated at and created at these fields are needed as you are using model system the model is this system the eloquent it is searching for those fields in order to bypass that what we will have to do is we will have to put here some extra codes that is public then time stamps okay time stamps public time stamps equal to false you will have to write this code if in the model you define the time stamps as false now you can run this you see that no error message now and the same value will be inserted again okay so there is no error message another thing can be happen that is the primary key by default when you will create a model and you will work in the model way then you must have to set up the primary key as id this is automatically set up because my student model will search it as id but in this case you also can change the primary key name for example if this primary key is changed suppose this is student id so somehow or uh, student id okay so somehow the application or was structured in this way that the name of id will be student id now if you want to run this you see that this is edit so there is no problem right now but when you will go to use join query then you will see an error so in order to fix this problem you will have to give here the name uh, as protected protected and you will have to set up the primary key here primary key is what is student id if you set up the primary key here primary key is equal to student id then if you use this advancedly then everything will work and we will not see any error messages this is also working also sometimes it can be happened that your table name is not in this standard format suppose your table name i am going to uh, change my table name suppose std stdnt okay stdnt this is your table name this is uh, showing it or why anyway uh, for some reason it was showing it or but uh, this is changed okay stdnt if you go to run this you will see that the base table not found because we do not have any table by the name by this name stdnt but we have 
created model we have created database but we have created model by this name a student so in this case you will have to tell this student model will call who is table who is table name it will work because we do it is default by default it is searching students table but there is no students table now so for the custom table you will have to tell again like the primary and time stamps we uh, defined and in the same way we will have to tell that that table name you will have to tell in the same way we will have to tell that in the same way you will have to tell that table name here protected and then table okay protected table equal to you will have to give stdnt so we manually set up the table name here now refresh this we see that this is working another one add it in this way actually the basic model structure works in laravel